Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and very early impressions for the Devourer Hunted Souls in VR. Now, this game released today in early access on the Steam Store, October 26, 2023. And the VR is listed as being experimental mode. You can choose either OpenXR or Steam VR. I chose OpenXR. And this game normally retails for $9.99. It's on a release sale 10% off. And I bought this game and I'm testing it out on the MetaQuest 2. Earlier, I tested it out on the MetaQuest 3 using Link Cable. Now, as far as settings, there's not very, very many settings. Uh, there are some graphical settings. Now, I've messed between high and medium. Now, I did lower it to, to medium for the Quest 3 just because it has a higher resolution. But I bumped it back up to... High for the Quest 2, which I'm on right now. Um, there's no height adjustment, so I feel like I'm too low to the ground. I, I played seated earlier. I just felt I was too low to the ground. Now I'm playing standing. Let's just see how that goes. And let's go ahead and let's play single player. And there's different characters. You can choose between Tao, uh, Aurora, and it's just a little odd the way they place these. I don't know if there's really that much advantage between the different ones. Nassim. Obviously, it would be a big advantage to have all of them because they have different abilities. Like, Hideyoshi has like a pressing ability key shows. Hideyoshi's surroundings and highlights paranormal entities and objects like that might be very good and then Shannon Which Shannon press ability key makes as quiet as possible making creatures not notice her for a few seconds. That might also be pretty good I think I'm gonna go Now, you know what? I'm gonna go with Hideyoshi just because I like his ability um, That shows surroundings and highlights paranormal entities and objects. So we're gonna click ready. You have to click ready first and then start game, and we'll start the game as, again, I believe, but what was it, Hideyoshi? And I played the game earlier, I know, a little less than an hour, and I'm still confused on exactly what you're supposed to do. This game kind of looks like Phasmophobia, if you've played that game. I played Phasmophobia on release in early access and i i have to tell you that was a much better game on release in early access in vr than what this is um this is uh pretty rough around the edges but there is something to this game i i'm, I'm still i have mixed feelings about it i'm still not sure on exactly how i feel about it there, there were some good parts and there were some very rough parts so <laughs> I can't say I recommend this game, but I can't say I don't recommend it. I, I guess I need to play a little bit more to give a more definitive answer. I, I was pretty lost on my first playthrough, and I'm still pretty lost. I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to be doing. Um, as you can see, this is your utility belt. One thing I problem I had is that my utility belt kept getting in the way. So I still feel I'm too low to the ground, but whatever, it's whatever. So you can turn this on, and I'm not sure how useful that is. Uh, I think you need this. Now, when I tried using this and uh, show light, show light, light on. Earlier, it was just really slowing down my system. Like, it was bringing it to a complete stop. There's also the EMF finder, which I, I think it's bugged. I don't think it's supposed to look like this. Do you, do you see that? It's like, what? Is that supposed to happen? This is an EMF, EMF reader. It's like an x-ray. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Anyways. I don't know if that's bugged or not. I think it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, there's some other tools. And uh, obviously, most of this stuff is for keyboard and mouse, obviously. And it says to bring stuff here if you need additional research. And obviously, here's some pills, uh, I guess, to get you back to full health, maybe? I, I'm not really sure how any of this works. Um, 
there were some different tools. Okay, here's the flashlight. We definitely need that. Just put that right here. And there's a note. I believe there's a note. Dear paranormal experts, something we implore you. Okay, we're not going to read. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh... There's supposed to be something else. How does this how does this even work? Okay. What, what Uh I don't even know what this does. What what is this? Is this just like a camera? It looks I don't know what this is. I really don't. Um there was like a like a little Earlier, it was working a little different. It was like a little uh, radar is what it was earlier. I don't know what happened to the radar. Um, I don't know if the tools are different each time. I'm, actually, I don't know what's going on. Let's, uh, let's uh, put this away for a second. And uh, we can look at our watch and get some help. There it is. There it is. Okay, I can barely read this. From all we know, there seems to be some kind of curse. Read the note next to the caravan. So we have to find the caravan. Okay, is, it that, is that the caravan? Uh, let's go Let's go to the caravan. From all we know, there seems to be some kind of curse. Find the source of this curse. I think we're not going to find that so much later. So right now it says, read the note next to the caravan. So that's what we're going to try to do right now. So I believe this is the camera. Here's a note. New test added to clipboard. Okay, how do you how do you? Okay, oh, here it is. Didn't work. Didn't work. Key north. Key north. Key north. Okay, that's not very helpful. Okay, so we're again we're gonna try to. I wish there was a. I don't know why we're lim We can only carry three tools, but we really need four. Uh. Obviously, we had more people. We could let's uh, put our flashlight down and let's try to get this. Okay, from all we know, okay, from all we know, there's these two kind of hers. Use your gadgets to find the key that was mentioned on the note. It should be somewhere in the northern region. Okay, so obviously we have to go north. And so that's what we're gonna do right now. If we can figure this out. Okay, let's just go. I don't know that I, I'm actually being able to tell right now where where we are. And this is the map. Okay, I can sort of tell now where we're going, but we we need to go up here, I guess. Up here. I think so. Okay. Hopefully, what we need is right here. No. No, no, no. <laughs> we were already here. Hopefully what we need is this way over here. Now, there there are some jump scares that do happen. I don't know if they're just totally random or if they happen after a certain amount of time. Uh, but last time I did come, come across some jump scares. And uh, there are some invisible boundaries. So... Uh, we might come upon an invisible boundary. Uh, it is a pretty big map from what I can tell. So I do like that about this game is that it is a pretty big map. Um, and as you can tell already, it's very different from Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia, you go to a haunted house, you're looking for the spirit and you have to determine what it is. This is not that at all. So, Although with the, with the way it starts, you know, with the mission and all the different tools and has online co-op, you might think it's Phasmophobia. It, it is not. That's where really the similarities end. This is a different type of game. Um, so far, it's a look for stuff game. I don't know if there's more to it than that. I guess we shall see. I haven't, like I said, I played less than an hour just to get up my bearings. And uh, I'm still a little confused. Uh, as you saw there, there's some pop in. Uh oh, there, there's, what is this? <laughs> okay i mean if um i do have this on high graphical quality so you know obviously the visuals aren't bad but i wouldn't say they're good either i would say they're they're a little hazy 
Um, I definitely, on the Quest 3, it definitely looked better. It looked sharper and clearer on the Quest 3, so keep that in mind. Uh, but on the Quest 3, I did have to lower <laughs> the graphical settings because it was, uh, wasn't was running very smoothly. It seems to be running a lot smoother on the Quest 2. Um, that, you know, that's happened to me where a couple games run smoothly on the Quest 2, but not on the Quest 3 just because of the higher resolution. And there's like an invisible boundary right here. I, I'm still not, I'm not really able to read this map. I'm not really sure. But there is like an invisible boundary here that prevents you from going that way. Okay, let's, let's just keep going. See, see if we can read. Okay, there's something going on here. There's like, there's like a bunch of candles. Do we, do we get out our EMF reader? Hello? Why can't we see, why do we see through the, is this supposed to happen? I don't think so. Does our EMF reader have like a dual purpose where you can see through the, I'm a little confused. It it would be hard to read the EMF reader with stick. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let's uh let's keep going though. Uh, I know there's like a random look. There's just some locations on the map that you need to get to. Um, but right now the thing that's throwing me off is there's like in a there's some invisible boundaries that I'm just running across that prevents me from going a certain direction. And this map is just not the best. Like, I really don't know if I'm going the right way or not. I, I really don't know. I think I'm just going to have to forget about look, trying to navigate with this. The reason I'm using it is because it said Norse. Okay. But I'm just hitting so many invisible boundaries that it's, it's just impossible to use. I, okay, I'm, I really don't know why I'm hitting so many invisible boundaries. Like, right now, there, there's an invisible boundary. And I don't know where I'm at. Like where am I? Where am I? Where am I at the map? I have no idea. I wish it was clearer to know where you are. I can't. T I can't tell which dot I am. You know what? I'm gonna forget about using that. <laughs> and I, I thought I could use. I would, thought I was using it earlier to affect, but right now I just it's just not helping me. All I'm all that's happening right now is I'm running into invisible boundaries. So in case you're wondering, right here there's an invisible boundary right here that's preventing me from going that way. I don't know why. It doesn't seem like I would be on the edge of the map. Okay. But let's just go. Like I said, there were jump scares. <laughs> I've already seen that jump scare though. So it caught me the first time. Uh, not again, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, the ghost models could look better. You know, they could be a little scarier. I don't know. Um, the map is pretty huge. That that would be a, a positive. But the map here, the the watch map, is just not very good. It, I haven't found it very useful right now. I I was able to use it earlier. I'm not sure why why now I can't really seem to gauge where I'm at relative to what's showing on there. But let's just go to a random direction. Hopefully we see a pass and we're able to to go and just find something. Any okay. This seems to be another like I'm running into so many different invisible boundaries right now. <laughs> Can't go any direction. Because I'm just hitting a bunch of invisible boundaries. Um, that's not good. That's really immersion breaking when that happens, obviously. Okay. Maybe now we're we're on on a better place without so many invisible boundaries, and hopefully we can find something. So far, we've been running around pretty pretty aimlessly. And obviously, it feels like we're floating above the ground versus actually walking. So, you know, by the way, this is normal walking speed. It's too slow. But I have uh, running toggled. So um, I would suggest going to the settings and make sure you change the run speed to toggle. It'll make running around the map a whole lot easier. 
and less painful. Um, and I think we can hit the water here. But notice how even, we're just like, like there's no sound, uh, there's no real animation of hitting the water. So, it, you know, it's not very, Im it's immersed, you know, it's not very immersive, it's immersion breaking. And oh, we got something here. Let's see what's, what's over here, see if we can find anything. There's an old vehicle here. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything in the vehicle, but that does mean we, we are near a house. So we're going to go into the house. Okay. Oh. And as you see, it's point and click. So we're in the house. I do feel like I'm still too low to the ground. Even though I'm, pl I'm playing standing right now, I feel like I'm too low to the ground. So this is the bathroom. This is the garage. This is an empty room. This is the front. It says it's locked. And again, I'm on high graphics, so the resolution is still pretty low. Uh, on the Quest 3, obviously, it's a lot sharper, so, you know, stuff was easier to read and whatnot. Let's go upstairs. I don't think there's... Okay, ooh, creepy knock. Okay. Okay, I don't know if there's anything here. Let's go to another room. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Again, I'm not really opening doors. I'm just pointing and clicking at them. It is pretty dark. I might use my EMF reader in a bit. Okay, there's uh, something about what? John's notebook, her name and the year she died. So we need to find the password, obviously. Now, I did play this earlier, and it was exactly the same. So there hasn't been much difference in the gameplay, uh, except that I was more lost this time. <laughs> and what happened to my tool? <gasps> what happened to everything? Every did everything fall down by accident? I only have my the walk I don't have my EMF reader. What the hell? Well that's no good. Okay, uh never forget Sarah twenty twenty two. So it's Sarah twenty twenty two. That's the password. Okay, whatever. Oh come on. Okay, so we got some notes here, some creepy sounds. We had a jump scare earlier. Uh, I don't know that we're going to read all this. Let's see if anything has changed. It says, read the note next to it. We, from all we know, there seems to be some kind of curse. Use your gadgets to find the key that was mentioned on the note. It should be somewhere in the northern region. So we still need to find the key. Nothing has changed. Okay, ooh, I saw some visual glitches there. Uh, so like I said, this game is in early access. There is a demo where you can try out the game for yourself. Um, there was some creepy sound, but I'm not sure exactly why. I think we've done everything that we need to do here. We still need to find the northern house. If I could use this map somehow. I don't know how, how exactly how it works. Let's keep going. There's a car right there. Street lamp. Where was the vehicle that we found? It was near the back door, right? Okay, let's just let's just go on this road here and see where it leads us.
Yeah, there's something over here. What is this? Hopefully there's something here. Okay, all right. Let's uh let's see what's up here. There's okay. It's a strange layout for this uh place. Okay, let's uh Oh, it's open already. Okay. Okay. We don't have our EMF. We don't have any tools right now because I don't know where they went. Um, they were in my tool belt, and I guess they must have dropped out where we were running. Well, I mean, obviously that shouldn't happen. So we're left with... We have no tools right now. I don't know if you really need those tools. I, and it doesn't seem like these doors are open. I don't know if... Can you open them? Oh, okay. A creepy doll. Hello. We will meet soon. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Alrighty then. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it too. It's nice to meet you. So we can, I guess. Okay. Alrighty then. Some mannequins, okay. Some creepy paintings. And... So, uh, we've encountered a few bugs. Uh, I would say losing the stuff on my tool belt was pretty major. I don't know if I accidentally clicked on them and they fell. I don't want to totally blame it on the game, but it does seem like it's the game's fault. You know, because I didn't try to get rid of them. They just weren't there anymore and it happened to me last time while i was playing too so this is not just a one-time thing it happened uh when i played earlier you know trying to f like i said i played the game for less than an hour prior to recording and i had the same issue where the stuff disappeared from my tool belt and that's actually when i decided to stop playing and start recording but i've run into the same issue again can you turn this on Okay, I, I don't. I'm not really scared of clowns and dolls and mannequins. Some people might be, but I'm not. Doesn't really do anything for me. Okay, let's go upstairs. I do notice some visual glitches, though. Is it, is it locked? Okay, it does seem okay the door seems to be locked okay we got a pop-up message okay all right so the door is locked and uh yeah i'm not sure if there's anything else to do upstairs the house actually looked bigger uh, on approach than what it actually ended up being there's nothing upstairs it's just a locked door i don't know where the key is let's let's look a little bit more did we miss something is something obvious that we missed. I don't see any. Do you guys see anything? Did I miss something obvious? And as you can see, a lot of stuff you just clip through. You can't really grab them. And the the normal the default walking speed is super slow. Like this feels painful. So I'm glad there is a way to run around because otherwise. Okay. Where where's the key? Lily, where's the key, Lily? Lily, where's the key? Oh. Whoa. Are we supposed to go back in now? <laughs> okay, that jump scare got me, not gonna lie. That jump scare got me. I was not expecting it. Are we supposed to Okay. What happened? I didn't get to see it there. What happened? I felt like there was something around me, but I didn't, didn't get a good look at it. Um, you know, this is a tough game for me to give a recommendation on. You know, uh, like I said, I played Phasmophobia on release in Early Access. And it was just a lot more fun, a much better experience. Now, this game is nothing like Phasmophobia, but I'm just comparing it, you know, to the to the playability to the state it was in. I don't know if this is, as far as VR, I'm not sure if this is a 
in a playable enough state. I, I've come across some pretty big issues. Like I said, the stuff disappearing from my inventory. Like, as you can see, some uh, two of the stuff in my inventory is totally gone. I had four stuff. And now I have two. I don't have my EMF reader. Don't know what happened to it. Don't know how to open that. I, I guess we have to look around the prop the property. That's the only thing I can think of right now is to look around the property. Let's look around. Maybe we find something. Maybe we don't. Okay. There seems to be like a bottom, like a downstairs, that may be hidden. If there is, I don't know how to get to there. Yeah, there seems like to be like a downstairs, but how you get there, I have no idea. Okay, well, let's... We can't do anything, so let's let's leave. Okay, uh, again, I, I, this map is terrible, too. And here's our health. We're 100 health, though, so we're, we're good on health. And where, where we go now, I have no idea. Like, I want to go north to find the key that they're talking about, but I have no idea how to get north because I can't read this. I mean, it's just a bunch of dots. I don't know how to tell which dot is us or where we're facing. Is this clearer on non-VR? <sighs> Is this the start? Is this... Oh, no. This is a... Uh... Oh, okay. We found a different place. I cannot remember certain things like the faces of my loved ones. I feel that it is taking my memories. I see strange occurrences happening around me, like shadows moving in the corner of my eye. I have fear that it has a hold on me and is manipulating my thoughts. I can feel it calling to me, tempting me to let it out. I must find a way to banish it before it's too late. Before it consumes us all. Okay. Alrighty then. So, Trivar, what does that mean? So, there's some like skeletons in the back. Got skeletons in the back. Horse in my garage. We're gonna go out trucking. Okay, I, okay, well, I don't know that that means anything. I, I don't know. Were, were we supposed to find something? Hello? Are we, is there, there something that we can do here? Do we need our tools in order to do... Like, I'm, I'm so confused right now. I did the tutorial, by the way. Uh, maybe I should have spent more time in the tutorial, but... The map is the one thing that... I, I could read it earlier. I'm not sure why I can't read it now. Like, before I could tell which... Okay, where is that? Where do we hear that? Hello? Hello? Monster? Hello? Okay, I can't tell where it's coming from, so we're just going to have to ignore it for right now. I don't know. I don't know where we're going now. I'm to I'm totally lost. I think we're going to the central part, though. I, I don't know where Norse is. That's the main problem. I, I want to go over here. Like, I want to go over here north. But I don't know how to get there. I can't. I can't. This map is just not very good. I, I wish it was better. So you could easily tell which way was north. <laughs> I don't know. Can y'all tell which one is... I feel like it's better just to look than to try to read this map. Okay, I, I, I don't know. Let's just find a path and hopefully we, we come across something useful. Hopefully we just get lucky at this point. Uh, but we've come across several structures, but it hasn't been very helpful. I don't know that we're any further along. Nope, we're not. It still says the same thing to find a key in the north, in the northern region. Well, thank you. Have we are Have we already been here? 
Yes, this is the same. Yeah, this is the same. Okay, we've already been here. Definitely don't want to go around in circles. Let's go this direction. Let's follow this direction and see where it takes us. I might end the video pretty soon, though, because it seems we're pretty lost. Um, let's see. What is this? Is this the same place you were just at? Yeah, it's the same place you were just at. Ah, <sighs> jeez. So right now we're just going around in circles. I don't know that... Hmm. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's see what we run into this way. Okay. I mean, it is atmospheric and... There's some creepy stuff, some spooky stuff that happened, but the gameplay is just, I don't know, it's kind of meh so far. The, so far it's just looking for stuff that's somewhere. And if we, for, if our map worked like it should, it probably wouldn't be this difficult. <laughs> I wish I could figure out how to go north. How do we go north? I can't tell from looking at this. If the moon, okay, there seems to be an invisible barrier right here. Like I can't go any further. Okay. I really don't like the invisible barriers. That's that's a letdown. Let's see now what happens over here. Oh, some more invisible barriers. So it seems like the lake is the middle part of the map. Um, but we have if we, I guess we haven't explored north because otherwise we we'd have found the key. I would imagine, but maybe not. Who knows. This game is not very clear. Like I said, I did do the tutorial, but maybe I should have spent more time in it. The tutorial is not very good. It just throws a lot of stuff at you. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense in the big context of things. So, In this kind of, kind of game, I kind of feel like they need to like do a, like a mini version of the full game. Just so you get a, a, an idea of what you're supposed to do. And that's not what this game does. It just kind of throws a bunch of signs at you and says this is this, this is that. But it doesn't put it all together in a cohesive way. And I just wish the map was better so I can tell which way was north. Oh, 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 oh. We might have just ran into something. Oh, okay. We ran into something by accident. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. We... All right. Yes. I kind of feel like this is where we need to be. Oh, look at this. There's, there's a nun. Hello? Nun? Hello? Where'd you go? Why are you hiding, nun? Okay. Oh, my God. It's like a puzzle here. Oh my god, I already have been playing some weird Morse code lately and it's driving me nuts. It started off as a random signal, but now it's like a curse. Oh man, it's so hard to read. I found something out in the woods with a pile back. Like ever since I have no idea if this thing is found connected to the curse code or not, but I'm starting to think it might be. Oh my god, we, we gotta figure this out. How do we start this? Wipe over note to close. Okay. How do we start this? What? Okay, I thought this was gonna be easy. I don't even know how to start the machine. Oh my god, okay, all right. We're just gonna play a few more minutes and then I'm gonna call it a night, see if we can get any progress. I don't understand how that works. Somehow we have to figure out how to turn it on, I guess. I'm not a big fan of the point and click interactions. I can't even open real doors. So the VR seems like an afterthought. It works. But as you can see, there's a lot of visual glitches, just a lot of stuff that's immersion breaking. I would say it's not very well. I mean, the VR support is experimental and it, and it 
feels like it, honestly. Um, but I guess if you're really desperate for a horror VR experience and you just really like this game, I, I guess I could recommend it to you. But otherwise, I would say wait for the VR support to be much better than this because right now it just seems like a very bare bones VR support here. Like it, it barely it barely works. It it does work so far, except for the game breaking bug where I lost my tools. But other than that, it seems to work. So, wait, oh man, what's going on here? Is this locked or what? Okay, this looked a lot bigger on the outside. Okay, what? What? Okay, again, it. That's not scary when I can't even see it. <laughs> Am I supposed to be scared? I can't see it. How how can I be scared if I can't see it? I don't know. Okay. Is it am I doing it wrong? Is it what how do you turn it on? Hello? <laughs> okay. Uh I don't know what oh, wait, is it here? No. No? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. I think I. Wait, did I lose my flashlight? <gasps> I lost my flashlight. Where'd my flashlight go? Okay, so now I've lost three of the four i of oh, the four items I was carrying. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give this a neutral recommendation. I don't think the VR support is very good. It, it is experimental. It is in early access. The game itself might be more fun in non-VR, uh, but right now, if I had to rate it, I, I would give it. A 5 out of 10 and I think I'm being very generous because there's a lot of stuff that doesn't seem to work in VR but because I haven't played it for very long I don't want to give it a negative review because this is early impressions but it, if I played it some more I might give it a negative review just because like I said it seems like a lot of stuff isn't working for VR um, so the VR experience just right now isn't very good anyways I'm Fast Lawyer this has been my let's play early impressions and like I said, there's a free demo you can try if you want, just want to try it out for yourself. It's only, uh, by the way, it is budget price. So that's another reason why I'm being very lenient on this review. Because it is, it, to be honest, it is leaning on the side where I just, oh, here's the flashlight. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.